Let's break into the room next door. Except I need to go to the bathroom first. So we shall, this time. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, we ascended the Monotoli building. And beyond that door is Paula, who we've labored for so many episodes to rejoin. Let's go through the door and beat Monotoli to the ground. Yeah! Stop, that's enough. Please stop. I give up, I really do. Ho oh, ho, you're not so hot without the money money in your crazy demon world, are you? No. Hi, Paula. How are you? I believed in you the whole time. Ness, you finally made it here. I'm fine. I believe you'd come and save me. Mr. Montoli isn't really a bad- Oh, sorry, I take it all back, Mr. Sir. Take some, um, take some time to listen to him. Okay, on your orders, I will not beat him in the face and end his game with my bag of Dragonite. Although, I want him to know that I still can, so don't you double-cross me. Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. Look, you know, bro, I'm not gonna take pity on you. I've become so weak since I lost the Mani Mani statue. I'm sorry I kidnapped Paula. I haven't done anything to her. Paula's a nice girl. Okay, maybe I'll take pity on you. Paula, return to Ness. I'm so I'm sorry I created so much trouble for you. Paula rejoined you. Yay! We have Paula again, even though you can't actually see her. I'll tell you everything. The Mani Mani statue creates an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your heart. The power scared me so much, I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's Cafe. I often went there to pray. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in the illusion. Ness, your name appeared in the cryptic messages. Stop Ness and do so by your own hand. Or, don't let them go to Summers. Or, make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages, but someone obviously doesn't want you to go to Summers. Evil Gygus or something? I could hear the name. Anyway, the evil side would be in trouble if you visit Summers. Oh, on the contrary, you should definitely go to Summers, especially because they don't want you to make it there. Would you like to hear the whole story again? Uh, I... no, sorry. Summers is located across the ocean. Take my helicopter! I'll open the door to my heliport. Ah, the bear, okay. So now I get the significance of the bear. It is a magical bear. And if we examine the bear, there's something special that happened by examining the bear. You must go on and on and on. Ness, this is your destiny. Paula, it's time we said goodbye. Take care. Thanks, man. <laughs> this bear won't attack you. He's stuffed. Well, you know, if he was alive, he wouldn't attack me because I'm too strong for bears. So it's actually good that he was stuffed because that's the best place for him to be. And when I say stuffed, that's actually a location, not a state of being. So, <laughs> Paula! Yeah, we have Paula now, again. Once more. And she's kind of underleveled. She's two level levels lower than Jeff, and six levels lower than Ness. Though, she should catch up quickly, and she's still going to be doing a lot of damage. She's just kind of squishy right now. Her inventory is kind of trashy, because cups of life noodles are cups of life noodles, and I... <laughs> I rarely need them. Uh, she has the laser gun, which I need to get rid of, but I will not get rid of yet. Well, there's the promised helicopter. Hopefully it's not booby-trapped or something. Let's fly to Summers. Ness, you pinheaded idiot! You're just a half step too slow! I'm getting out of here! Since Montilli has become a plain old man again, I have no more use for him. This helicopter will sure come in handy. Uh, looks like you're the world class loser again! Smell you later! Thanks, Gary, or Pokey. You're pretty much the same person. So, it looks like the helicopter ride is not there. Things aren't going to be so easy. Okay. Pokey took the helicopter. I hope he's okay. So this guy genuinely cares about Pokey. I wonder if they're... No, they can't be related, because I can see this guy's eyes, but... Maybe, I don't know. 
This bear won't attack you, you stuffed, I know. I've heard. <laughs> I heard from a very reliable source, and I wish I could sit on these couches, and let's go! Ugh. I was a little dizzy, but now I'm okay. To get to Summers, we need to go back to Threed. Yep, somehow I know that's where we must go. Wow! You guys did a lot while I was in the bathroom! Ha ha ha! You want to get to Threed as soon as possible? We can take you to Threed in our tour bus! I'll get the bus and wait for you just outside the building! Thanks, man. You're the best-ist. So, we have invested $1,010,000 into the Runway 5, and what do we get out of it? We get out of it them turning off a, a very easy robot for us, and also driving us to Threed. And now that we have Teleport Alpha, we don't really need m normal modes of transportation. But, I, it's, the, it's the thought that counts. The Runway 5 are here for us, they have great music, and that's worth a lot more than a million and ten thousand dollars. Actually, it kind of is. Hello? Hello, hello. How are you? This is Apple Kid. I think I'm a real genius. In fact, I know I'm a genius. Why? I have discovered the primary enemy of you and all humanity. We have to fight and defeat this being. To do so, we need to invent a machine called the Phase Distorter. I've got to find the wandering scientist, Dr. Andernitz, and make the distorter. So, I may be gone for a while. Later! Click. Well, I'm glad he calls in the updates, because it helps us know that our... Wow. We okay. Yes, I'd be asking too much. I don't mean your autograph. We have invested, okay, a million and ten thousand dollars in the Runaway Five, right? Well, we've invested two hundred dollars in Apple Kid, and he's still paying us back for it. Like we have the pencil, er, the pencil eraser. We have all of this cool stuff, and it's possibly saved the life of Paula and like the entire group. So two hundred dollars, well spent. Okay, you can get on the bus now. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Yeah. All right, on to three. I have to have fun with these voices one last time because this is sort of like the grand adieu to the Runway Five. We're not going to be seeing them again because we're going to be going to different places. We're going to be literally visiting New Horizons. We'll be going across the ocean. We'll be going to. Well, that's spoilers. We'll be going to one place again, and we're going back to three. So, the Runaway 5's chapter is pretty much done. In fact, the first chapter of the game is over. Uh, we, we'll probably reach the halfway point of Earthbound this episode, which is really neat that we're halfway through the game, but also, it, it kind of humbles me because I know that I play Earthbound slowly. It's true. I mean, if you compare this episode to the same episode number of Steven plays, he does shorter episodes than I do, and yet he's further along through the game. I just played the game a little bit slower paced, and I, I'm really glad that you guys, or at least most of you, are okay with that. Here is Threed once again, no longer zombie infested, though it still is not the cheeriest of towns. The damage still shows. Alright, we made it. I'm sorry we couldn't do more for ya. Remember though, we're on your side. When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine the Runway 5 singing somewhere far. Far, far away. By the way, did you, why did you need to come back here? You must have forgotten some very important item or gadget. How's that for a guess? Am I close? Well, you don't have to tell me, bro. See you later and good luck. See you, man. You're inspiring. They ride slowly away. I'm curious about what this guy says. I heard that you beat the zombie leader after you got some important info from me. <laughs> you should at least thank me. Or how about a soldier a sol shoulder massage? Why are you giving me such a dirty look, you brat? Dude, the de. Okay, that that was like the ally of the zombies, so it makes sense that you'd be slightly rude. Okay, let's go up because there's one item that does not belong to us, but does not belong in this town. There is a certain item that we crashed into this place with, the Skyrunner, and it's still here. So it's our job to retrieve it. Uh, can we go in this way? I forget which way. No, there's a ladder, derp. Convenient ladder inside the tomb. 
brings us back into the place area. Oh, and there's the Skyrunner, not in a heap of trash. We painted, uh, we painted over all the damaged parts of the Skyrunner. Now I wonder how you start this thing up. I want you to stay, but if you can't, so long. Thanks for every little thing. Ah, here's the problem, and it's not too tough to fix. Hang on for a second or two. There. That should do it. Now, if we board, the Skyrunner will take us back to Winters. With Dr. Andunet's help, I can modify the machine to fly to Summers. If Dad, I mean Dr. Andunet's, is not available, I'll, I'd ha yeah, I'll have to figure it out by myself. Anyway, let's go back to the lab in Winters. That's it. Go, machine, go! Go, Power Rangers, go! Aw oh man, that all too familiar music, and we're lifting off in the Skyrunner once again. A new chapter of the game is starting. We're halfway through, or at least we will, like I said, at the end of this episode. And there is some unfinished business that we left back in Winters. There's a Your Sanctuary location boss that has yet to be defeated, so we're hopefully going to be doing that this time. There's also a certain shop, which I could have taken advantage er of earlier, but still has items that are worth uh, worthwhile for me to get. We'll also be getting that. Then there's the matter of the pencil eraser. That is uh, huh, about to outlive its usefulness. No spoilers, but we're about to never need that thing again. And on our way back, ironically, instead of seeing things that we have yet to, to accomplish, yet to see and overcome, we're seeing all of the things that we have overcome, that we have beaten and set things right in. And it's kind of interesting. It's, it's a good, uh, a good uh, uh, prologue for the first half of the game. We're seeing all the things that we've accomplished and seeing that the people that we've met thus far are not gone. They're still there, just like the Runaway 5, keep coming back. So, some of the characters of the story have yet to play their part. In fact, there are, there's our friend, the Bubble Monkey, and his girlfriend, which we know not the name of. Thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh yes, we finally tied the knot. Aww. Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. So, you pass by a cave north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? Don't can't seem to stop thinking about it. Go and see what's there. <laughs> We're going to get out of here. We're student, still newlyweds, you know. Bye bye. I'm sorry for my voice for them. It's a, it's an odd language that I think I inherited from zombies. Okay, you, hi. Oh, you surprised me. You're Ness, aren't you? Jeff wets his bed sometimes. Other than that, he's a good boy. Take care of yourself and Jeff. The bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call the area Rainy Circle, but, uh, but I haven't been there. I wonder, I wonder what's inside the cave. I, uh, huh. I understand. While you're checking out that place, I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh yes, yes, my coworker Bigfoot dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy, and he likes and he loves people. Sounds like me. He often shares his beef jerky with me. So this guy will let you buy stuff. Ooga booga, how may I help you? Waka ungawa, what would you like? Beef jerky and stuff. Bottle. Ooh, what? Bottle of DX water. This item restores PP. Pee -pee, although, <laughs> I have the magic truffle, so forget that. Wungu Gungari. Please come again. Okay, let's use the power of Dragon Ball Z to head out into the world asunder. I don't know why I use the word asunder, because it has no relevance right now, but I used it anyway, so deal with it. So, we're back in Winters. A wonderful place full of wonderland. And I did not talk to this guy when I was last here, though I didn't have failed take and I still showed it. But I'd still like to read it. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have read on it or, or read yeah. You must have seen it on TV or read about it 
in the tabloids. Yes, that Stonehenge. Okay, now that he's said what he has to say, let's leave. And there's actually a bear, which we didn't see last time, but he was there. Okay, cave has stuff for us. Cave has life for us. Cave has this enemy. Oh, boy. Let me just make sure that I have everything I want. Ness has PP. Good. Uh, he has Sudden Guts pill, which eh, I don't care about. Um, Paul has... Sure. Blur. Uh, Jeff has that. Okay. I just want to really make sure that he had a big bottle rocket. You finally got here. This is the fourth your sanctuary location, but it is mine now. Take it from me if you dare. I love the funny voices. That's one thing that I love. It's funny voices. Okay. This is the shroom. He's not a shroom. He's a shroom. And uh, we're going to defeat him with everything we have. The first turn he is able to act, he will mushroomize one member of the tar of the party. It could be our healer Ness. It could be our, our damage dealer Paula. Or it could be the item support Jeff. We don't know, and it's dangerous. So let's use fire uh, uh, beta, because I do believe he is weak to fire and not freeze, because most plant enemies are. Let's use fire beta, front row, and Jeff, you shoot your big bottle rocket at him. PSI fire beta comes out, does 200 damage to him. Big bottle rocket does like 500, no, 400, okay. And PSI rock and beta does nothing. Spores. Oh, good. Actually, that's not that as bad as it could be. Let's do that. And Paula, you fire beta. Use fire ab. And Jeff. Wait. Jeff can. Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, we've never encountered mushroomization before, which made me kind of forget life. Okay. Mushroomization does not technically do anything in battle. You can attack, you can use everything you normally can. But this is the trick. It is the trick of mushroomization. If you do so, there is a chance that Jeff will use that own attack against his allies. So that big bottle rocket may insta-kill Ness, may insta-kill Paula, or it may kill Jeff himself, or it could be used on the enemy. So in cases like those, it's best to defend, because at worst, he's going to be defending at Paula, which makes no sense, so he's just going to be defending. Firab. The only thing that's actually really hit in this battle besides a thing. And Rock and Beta has been known to insta-kill this thing, but it won't here because this is a powerful enemy. So he's not mushroomizing any anyone else, and technically we could still cure the mushroomization, just not with a psychic ability. So I won't bother with that though. Um Paula. Okay, I'm curious. Just use just use this. I'm really curious to see what what will happen. And Jeff, you just defend. PSI freeze, the move does damage. Okay, so it's, it does a lot of damage. Rock and beta, please hit and kill him? No, okay. That's not a good thing. P healing, beta on Paula. Paula, you use uh, freeze. What was that, Sigma? Yeah, I think it's Sigma. I always get confused from those. 19 damage, freeze beta. I'm sorry, not beta. Uh, the Freeze the move. Healing beta. Good. Now let's let's have Jeff. Oh wow, Paula, Paula, Paula. Whoa, girl. Okay, let's use that on Paula. And Paula, since this might be your last turn to move in this battle, go ahead and use freeze one last time and let's hope you don't get killed. Shroom. And Jeff, keep on keeping on with your defend. Okay, does a lot of damage. Does not make it tame. Did not work on Jeff. And, okay, he could have killed Paula very, very easily, but he chose not to. Okay, whatever. Whatever, bro. Uh, rockin' beta. He's not really the hardest of bosses. He's just kind of menacing, because if he, if he mushroomizes the healer, then Ness might be healing the shroom. And if he's not healing the shroom, then it might be Paula that's mushroomized, and then Jeff and Ness will have a hard time of it. But, in this case, it actually wasn't that bad. A lot of experience. Ness's level's now 39. Offense went up by 2, defense went up by 1, luck went up by 1, HP went up by 12, PP went up by 1. Ness realized the power of PSI life up, Kama. Ness's level's now 40. Wow, he got two level ups. That's kind of rare. Oh, baby! Offense went up by 4, speed went up by 2, oh, baby! Guts went up by 4, vitality went up by 2, oh, baby! This is a big level up. IQ went up by 3, luck went up by 2, sweet! Ma maximum HP went up by 30! That rocks! 
Maximum PP went up by 14. Paul's level is now 33. HP went up by 1. PP went up by 2. Paul's level is now 34. Offense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Mac HP went up by 2. PP went up by 1. Jeff's level is now 35. Offense went up by 2. Speed went up by... Uh, I mean, defense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. HP went up by 1. Ah. <sighs> Need to take a breath after that. Ugh. That's distasteful. You really, if you're a Let's Player, tell me, or if you do videos, tell me what you drink during recording, if you drink anything, because, uh, because you should. Many Let's Players or YouTubers do have a drink, a choice drink, whenever they do this kind of thing, and I would like to know. Ness caught a whiff of steak, but just for a second. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the rainy circle. That's cool. That's really cool. There's just rain coming out of nowhere. And normally I like to do a brief synopsis of things we've encountered thus far, but I don't think it's necessary. I've done that enough this episode. I would just like to, co to make a comment that we are indeed now halfway through the Let's Play. Whoa. Um... I'm sorry, but you, you, I've never seen you in this area before. Do you appear, like, after we clear it? I don't know. Let's let's fight it. I'm... Okay, this seems kind of tough. The cool thing is, is we're near the revitalization device, so we can actually use our, just our strongest attacks. And... Okay, fire... Bleh... And you... Uh... Bleh. Use your bleh. Okay, so moving on, now we can go back to Dr. Andonuts. He should have fixed up the Skyrunner by now, so we should be able to uh, fly our way to Summers. But there is one errand I would like to run first. It's very important that I do so. Right next to the, uh, the boarding school where Jeff is from, there is a shop which contains a T-Rex bat, which is much better than a, the bat we have now, and like a non-stick fry, fry pan or something. So, I would like to drop by there. We have Teleport Alpha, and that's where it will indeed take us, so I'd like to go there. But, another important thing. We actually should go to Summers, now that I think of it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh no, oh boy, oh boy, oh no, oh no! Okay. <laughs> Man, look at all the enemies here. That's crazy. Look at all of them. You know what? Fight me. Paula's level is now 35. Oh, baby. Offense went up by 3. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. HP went up by 2. APP went up by 2. I'm sorry. I felt, I, I felt called to do that voice. Okay. What I was saying is it's actually... I'm second-guessing myself and saying it's a bad idea to go to... Uh, to go to some, uh, the other place in Winters first, because that means we have to travel all the way back down here, which is bad. But also, if we do that, if we go north, then we'll actually have to go south quite a ways to fix that whole thing. So, I will meet you at the thing that I need to do. It's easier if I just cut it out. So, be right back. Alright, the thing I wanted to do before we talk to Dr. Andonuts is use... Go into our thing here and use the where is it? The pencil eraser. Pencil eraser. Where's? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Pencil. Okay, there it is. I was really worried there. Pencil eraser on the thing. Ness used the pencil eraser for some re re reason. It was erased and dun da 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 da. Well, shows what I get for celebrating. That was actually. Oh boy. Oh boy, no! Okay, well, that was the last pencil statue in the game. Yeah, it was. The last one. So we don't need the pencil eraser again, ever. Uh, except... Uh, you know what, I'll talk about this now, real quick. There is some bonus text if you use the pencil eraser on the... the... the Mani Mani statue. It'll say something like, uh, why, why on earth would you think that would be... that would be possible? But there is some bonus text, so I thought I'd mention it. Okay, I will meet you after this battle because these enemies are hard and they might kill me. They might honestly kill me. 
Ah, just like a good night's sleep, it says, and I'm healthy and whole again. Dr. Andonuts, the guy who de hoards his donuts, though I don't blame you because donuts are delicious. Oh, Ness, Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. And to take care of yourself and Jeff. Hmm, it looks like you found something out. I finished remodeling the Skyrunner. You can leave for summers whenever you wish. It shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. So, with no, no promises, no money back guarantee, We'll just uh, all shamble into the Skyrunner and take off to a new land! Summers! The land of summer! Which is nice because it's actually not summer where I live right now. I mean, it is, but it's actually acting more like fall, which is interesting because this has been like the warmest year we've ever had. So, to the right! To the left! It's to the left! So, left of Canada, or west of Canada, Summers is somewhere. I'm trying to think of my uh, geology or ge whatever. Um, ge I'm not thinking. No, maybe maybe it's like Hawaii. That would work, I guess. It actually, looks more like it looks a lot more like Texas to me. Texas is nice. Have you ever been to a Texas beach? Because if you have not been to a Texas beach and you live anywhere near Texas, go to the Texas beach, like Corpus Christi or something. Ah, so good. Slowest crash in history. But it's on Sandy Beach, and it looks like uh, the Skyrunner will not be be uh, bouncing back from this one. Ironically, when it crashed into a graveyard, it sustained less damage from when it crashed into nice, soft sand. So, this is Summers. Although, <laughs> now that we're here, I need to leave. Teleport Alpha. I know, it's crazy. We're here and now we're going away. But it's true. We need to go to Winters. Now that we've set a teleport point in Summers, I need to go to Winters because, uh, yeah, uh, that this is the best way and I need the weapons there. So, we're back in Winters and let's go right into the shop. That's the only- this is the only thing I want to get in Winters is the T-Rex bat. Hello there, how may I help you? I have things, but I need monies for things. I have a lot of monies though. I have... how much money? $36,000! And I'll- I will take maybe like... I don't know. Let's just take 10,000. 10,000 of it will work. So, let's grab the T-Rex bat. Now, this is- this seems oddly- oddly strange, if that's a term, because, I mean, obviously, the new area, Summers, will have things for you to buy, right? Mm, wrong. No, that's- that's actually pretty wrong, because Summers is a very expensive place. All the shops there have things for high prices, so it's best to get things here where they're relatively cheap, as opposed to in Summers where everything costs an arm and a leg. So, I will cut back after I have purchased this stuff because it takes a long time. The T-Rex bat raises my offense by... 10. So, a sizable increase, but think about how much it would increase it by in the earlier game, if you use the cookie cheat. Mr. Baseball bat is gone, and then the non-stick fry pan is for Paula. Equip it raises her, def her offense by 10. That's also a good increase. Next is the... Coin of Silence, which is much better than whatever it is I have right now. Equip it here, yes. It raises it by five, so not that much better. Coin of Defense, that's what I had. And I actually get a lot of money back on it, so this is technically only $1,500 for a increase of five. So that's not the best, but it's still the latest and greatest technology offers. Okay, what else? Uh, skip sandwich, that's it. That's, that is it. I'll deposit the rest of my money, except for like $500, because I like to live life on the edge. There it is. Okay, now let's use the phone to call Escargo Express. I would like you to pick up like three different things for me. Pick up. Yes, send the things and the things. Let's go. Now, this is the last thing I'd like to do this episode, so in the next episode, we will be going to Summers and doing the things, doing the summery things. And it's a very rich town, which is a big step up from anything we've seen thus far. 
This is the escargot. Escape it, bit. You can take the. Uh, uh, the laser gun because it's garbage. And then the bleh pencil eraser. And then I'm thinking the brain food lunch, honestly, because if he if it heals 300. HP and like 50 PP, that's a good item for late game, I'm thinking. Although, you know what, yeah, let's let's get rid of it. We don't really need items right now. We have infinite PP. Bring through lunch, yes, take the thing, the thing, and the thing. Yes, that's correct, goodbye. Okay, bye, I'm gonna need to find a thing. All right, now before I end it off, let us get a running start here and use PSI, teleport alpha, to Summers, because I would like to end it off there. That was actually perfect. That was perfect. I wouldn't have made it if I didn't make that curve. That's cool. And now we're placed up on the road, which is a place that we have not seen thus far. So the road. It's a road. This place actually looks more like California or uh, Miami or something like that. Not Corpus Christi, but still, it works. This is Summers, and next time in Pal Plays Earthbound, we will be exploring Summers. It's a fun place. This is a fun part of the game. Let me just say that right now. Actually, it looks like I'm playing Animal Crossing right now. But it is a fun area of the game. It gets different. You get to see different things. Some new things, some old things, and some crazy things. So, I will see you guys next time. If you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I will see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Earthbound where I will be killing more moles playing rough. Bye!